Good morning. This is Arnold again. I was uh, thinking about things that were depressing and loneliness and whatnot, and I got into a rut. So I decided I would write down a list of things, everything in my life that's worthwhile. Now you may get bored with the long list, but maybe a few will hit you at the heart too. It may amaze you. Try it. What are the most important things in life? As I write this, number one is love. Caring, sharing, seeing, hearing, memories, a hug, touching, walking, experiencing God's grace, kind words, loving deeds, laughing, a kiss, a gentle touch, someone's smile, someone who cares, kindness, gifts and talents, God's word, a pat on the back, for gratefulness, for Jesus' sacrifice, a note of appreciation, a warm hello, a beautiful song, a warm breeze, a colorful sunset, a baby goat, telling a touching story, sharing a wonderful memory, caring for someone in need, giving of myself, sharing God's love, comforting someone who's hurting, love of family and friends, a kindness for no reason at all. These are a few, but there are many more. Quiet times with God, communication through prayer, being wanted. I am a somebody because God doesn't make junk. Forgiveness to take away burdens, listening, knowing God, sharing God, trusting God, being thankful, sharing knowledge, telling a story to children, singing with old people, doing artwork, sharing my talents, the puppets, the crafts, the poetry, the writing songs, all inspired by God, doing flower arranging, telling jokes, sometimes too many, taking leaps of faith, helping where needed, giving back rubs, getting together with friends, praising others, complimenting others, taking notice of lonely people to give them comfort, always being there if needed, giving and making things for needy people, being able to create, crocheting prayer blankets, a card of thanks, a gift out of love, putting puzzles together, giving a gentle touch when it's unexpected, doing without things being asked, cooking, not trying to control someone. When the kids drop in and say hello, get a hug, helping wherever I can, being an example for others, taking the first step to welcome a stranger, good health, which is very important right now, recovery from hard times, medicine from doctors to keep us well, caretakers, thank you for them, a dinner invitation, a hearty game of cards, eating out with my wife, even though that is rare now, or family or friends, for ministers and friends to teach and share God's word, someone to confide with, making something for someone, or just taking a dog for a walk, walking through the woods, feeding the birds and the squirrels, in the wintertime, icicles splashing in the pond. For mothers and fathers, for picnics, just taking the time to be with God, to talk with Him, to listen, to do, to love, to hug, to thank, 
and eventually to live with him forever. For quiet times alone with God, to marvel at a snowflake, for healing, for a pat on the back or just giving one, for warm slippers, for refinishing piece of furniture, for a warm, comfortable home, for people praying for me, for goats climbing all over me when I go to give them something to eat, for a devoted dog, for brothers and sisters, for helping being someone to know, helping someone to be, know Jesus, for a juicy apple, for a cup of hot cider, for get-togethers at church. The list goes on and on, but I am realized just how blessed I am. I am blessed for being included and respected, for holidays away, for cute cuddly bunnies, for a stolen kiss from my wife, for making someone smile, for rain and sunshine, seeing a gorgeous rainbow, sunrise or sunset or fluffy clouds, a gentle breeze on hot days, for memories of warm loving times, for computer games, for a job well done, for joys of Christmas, Valentine's Day and special days, for pizzas and cookies and cakes, reading heartfelt stories, watching tearjerker movies, for ministering to the lost and lonely, a strong handshake from someone concerned who shows others love, for gifts of teaching, for just crying with someone, for God's always putting me where I am needed, for all of God's promises, for God's affirmation that through my faith, God has made me his son, with the assurance that I will live in heaven with Jesus as my brother forever. I could go on and on and on of how God blesses me with miracles, affirms my doubts, teaches me what to say and do, even when I don't know what to say or do. For putting the words in my mouth when I don't know what to say. Being with me when I sing and praise. Having someone compliment me when I've worked hard for God's glory. For giving me a close relationship with God as my loving Father to be able to talk about anything, for God's guidance to attempt anything he asks of me, no matter how incompetent I might feel. To sum it up, I just want love, guidance, and patience to serve God in any way I can and just obey his words. Why don't you try it? Your gloomies will all go away after you've written a list like this. So God be with you. Thank you.